Hey guys, so if you don't know me, my name is Diva. Juliana. Shirley. So as you can see, we have a new face, which is my mom. If you guys seen the live just a few days ago, I did tell you that I had a new member that was living with me. And now you can see that who I'm bringing. So my mom now resides with us here in North Carolina. She came here to, to basically help us, you know, she was in South Carolina trying to find her a place to stay and, you know, um, trying to find a job to get stable and, you know, it just wasn't working out for her. But one thing I can always say, me and my mom has always been a great team. So I told her, hey, you know what, it's not working out for you there, but maybe you can come here to North Carolina, you know. I said, you know, it's a different way of living, of course, but... You know, if you want to try something new, you know, try living in the RV. So she did. So we came up with a few questions here, and um, and we told her that we that we wanted her to be very honest about her opinion about living in the RV. So we're going to have Juliana read the questions, and my mom is going to give her give her answers. Okay. How do you like living in the RV? I love it. I enjoy it. It's not nothing real big. I have to do a lot of work. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, have you ever thought that you would, like, ever be living in the RV before? Never in my life. Mm. Never in my life. But I always wanted to see how it looked inside. Right. So now I see. Right, right. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and, and on top of that, you know, living in South Carolina, that's not something that we saw a lot. Right. You know? We did. So it's very different, right? Yes. Very different. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we see that you really like the, the RV. So let's go to course number two, Juliana. What you got? What don't you like about the RV? Mm, it's not too much that I don't like. Um, so far, I, I mean, I just like it. I mean, <laughs> it ain't nothing that I don't like. Um, not even with the propane, not even pulling the... The the, uh, the the tanks and the stuff. Tanks, oh, you know, it ain't, it's not nothing that I don't like. It's not hard to do, right? It's not. It's not. Yeah. I mean, it's some more stuff that I have to learn, and I'm willing to do it because one day I might be living in one too. Hopefully. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and, and 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 granted, you know, like you said, uh, you know that you you love it you know but you know and, and, and some days we have our ups and downs right you know but it still doesn't make you just want to just change the lifestyle just right. because you know you're having your ups and downs about it huh right right yeah. i gotta keep going <laughs> just gotta keep going right 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 okay have you ever stayed in an rv never in my life never Never in my life I ever lived in a RV. Never in my life. That you stayed in an RV. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's a lot of traffic and stuff, as you can see. We at the laundromat right now, guys. So uh, we wanted to do a different little scene or whatever. So, but um, go ahead, Juju. Let's go on to the next question. What you got? Do you miss living in a house? Well. Pretty much, yes, I do, and no. Okay. <laughs> and then yes is because I was close to my family, and we always have big cookouts, you know, gathering together, you know, birthday, you know, just, I don't. Uh, I pretty much don't miss it, and I do miss it. Okay. So, if you had to think of just like maybe two things, because I know kind of just coming from the top of your head, right? Mm -hmm. what, what would you say you miss about living in the house? Um, you see, she even got to think about it. Look, <laughs> she over here thinking about it, guys. What do I miss about living in the house? Come on, she over here thinking about it. Um, the question. I mean, well, we, you want us to go back to that question before? Maybe. Okay, so let's let's set that question to the side, Juliana. Let's take that question out right here. I know. Okay, what okay. you got? The, what I miss and what I really enjoy on the outside is missing is cutting my grass. 
Oh my God, I love cutting grass. Yeah. And I do miss that. Okay. <laughs> and um, and I miss my grandkids coming to the house mm. to see me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and but even with that, right? Um, once you get your own lot, once you get your own RV, if that's something that you decide to do in the future, you know, that's still stuff that you can still do. You still can have grandkids come to the house. You still can go out there and cut, and cut your own grass, you know? You know, so. So, okay, so she said that she missed more family, if anything. I mean, but you still can have family gatherings at the at, at an RV. You know, um, but I get it though, you know, but you know, at, at the end of the day, if you guys think, really think about it when it comes to the family portion, it seemed like when COVID really hit, a lot of family kind of even separated, you know, uh, family is not really as close as they used to be anymore. You know, a lot of people kind of started to go their own separate ways, you know, um, but I won't get into more detail about that, but you know, that's just kind of like my opinion about it, you know, but um but if I had, but but if I said, but for me, if I had to think of what I would miss living in the house, um, maybe a full tub, right? Like I have a tub, but I don't have a full, full long tub. Like if I wanted to like stretch out type deal, you know. Uh, what well, she said, she don't miss that. You see what I'm saying? So you know, everybody got their own preference of what they would would miss about you know living in the home. I have something that I miss. What do you miss, Ju? Um, a, a, a bigger bathroom. Mm -hmm. Because that one that we have in the RV is very, very small. Okay, so she said that the that the RV that we have, uh, the, our bathroom is very small. Is what she said, which is true. Yeah. But 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 let's think about that RV that we had the first time and how small that bathroom was, right? It didn't even have a sink. It didn't even have a sink in there. We didn't even have a tub. It was mm -hmm. it was it was a shower. Yeah. You remember? You remember you guys were washing washing up in a in an actual tub of yes. Yeah, I was putting water like in a bucket to wash the kids in there, guys, because the RV didn't have an actual tub in there, and my kids are so small they're afraid to take showers and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know. But okay, what else would you miss, Juju? Like our own room. Oh, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I could, I, I could, I could see that. I could see that. You know, because in the RV, and, and that's not every RV, of course, guys. You know, some RVs. You know, a lot of people are not going to have their own different rooms. They they might have their own little sections with it when it comes to the kids. You know, but just. You know individually rooms individual rooms I, I really haven't seen it not saying that it's not out there but that's not what i've, I've seen but i could i could relate to that juju I, I probably would miss my own room too yeah okay so next question juju do you feel like people can become financially free do you feel like people can become financially free <laughs> good job on pronouncing that word juju mm -hmm. I think so, and because with the R and Z, you know, I really don't know what's the the price of a, 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 a R and Z. Uh huh. But I can say that a house is more. I think it's more. It costs more than a um a R and V, yeah. and um, I feel like you can save money also. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, I guess if you, um got your money right right you know right and save up mm -hmm. with an r and d but with a house and all the other bills right it was it was a lot it's it, a lot it's a lot it's, right it's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah. and even on top of that you know even trying to get into houses and stuff these days is not as simple as it was anymore right you know right. um and of course living in a house you know you got to pay water you got to mm -hmm. pay what uh gas. Uh, gas you know you got to pay uh what electricity, electricity. you know in some in, in some rv parks you you don't have to pay that you know like for example i told you guys the one that, that we live in water electricity sewer is all included right um the rent is 425 but because i'm a veteran i paid 372. you see what i'm saying and that's just for the lot they come they they you seen them all they they do the trash right yeah, yeah. that's your own mailbox they yeah. cut the grass for you yeah. you know i mean 
it's it's I feel like you're kind of getting a better deal, you know. It, it is. <laughs> That's a good deal. It's a good deal. Yeah. So I I, I do feel like you probably can, can become. I agree with you with that, Ma. You, I do feel the same way. I feel as if you just budget yourself right and you know what you're getting into and you know what you want, you know, and you and you actually come with a plan and do your research. I do feel as if you can become financially um, stable if you decide that you would like to, you know, jump into an RV. So good answers, Ma. What's your next question, Ju? Would you rather stay in one location or travel? She said, would you rather stay in one location or travel? Well, I prefer... That's a hard one. That's a hard one. <laughs> I would love to travel. That's one. I, I, I would like to travel. You would like to travel? Yeah. Wow. To see other states. Yeah? Yeah, I would love to. Wow, now that kind of shocked me a little bit, guys, because my mom is kind of more of like, she a little homebody, if you ask me. You know, she like to go out, but she ain't really out there in them streets, you know. Right. So for her to say like, okay, yeah, you know, I want to get out there and I want to travel and I want to do these other things, you know, um, that that's a that, that kind of surprised me there. So wow. How do you feel about this location? How do you feel about this location? The location that we at right now? Oh, I like it. It's quiet, you know, um, clean. Um, I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to get. Yeah. 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 If, if I had had the money to put me an RV out there, I probably would just stay there too. Because mm. it's so nice and quiet. Nobody bother you. You know, keep it nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Would you recommend this lifestyle to people? Would you recommend this lifestyle to people? Mm. Like I said. If you stab in good, and if you feel like that, you know, this is something you want to do, why not go out and do it, you know? Don't let no one hold you back. Mm. Do what you want to do. You mm. know? And I feel like that was my problem, you know, listen to other people. Never made that move. I s stayed where I was, you know, until my daughter. You know, that's when I started doing a little traveling with my daughter. Mm. She the one got me out of a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, maybe at first she probably wasn't too too comfortable with like, what am I about to stay in the RV? Mm, like, right. like, like, what was even your? I know this is not any of the questions, but like, what was your thoughts when I said, hey, why don't you just come live in the RV? I was excited. Yeah. It wasn't like, uh, uh, I'm not gonna do it. I was excited, you know. I was really, truly excited to go check out the R and B. Now she talked about it so much, and I, I was like, "Man, I want to see this. I want to see this." Mm. And I was so happy, surprised that she asked me to come and stay with them. I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm going for this." <laughs> mm, because, because just to let you guys know, when you have a, um, I think they go by the size of the R and B, right? But um, they don't allow a certain amount of people to like be in the RV. So with my kids, so so for example, with y'all know I got four kiddos. Sorry, Juju. You know I got four kiddos. So let's just say that my kids stayed with me full time, then my mom wouldn't have been able to come. You see what I'm saying? But because my kids don't come, don't stay with me full time, my mom was able to come. I called her up and said, Hey, you know. I need my mom to come stay with me. I'm about to go to trucking school. You know, is that okay? They say, yeah, because your kids don't stay with you full time, you know, it's just fine for her to come. So just keep that in mind too, that, you know, it does matter. You know, some places, well, a lot of places actually, they are going to ask you how many people will be staying with you. So, but yeah, I, I was really happy about you saying yes too, because I was just like, is she, would she really want to come? You know, this is like a totally different lifestyle, you yeah. know? But um, I told my mom, I said, you know what, don't worry about none of the bills. I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Just come. Just come. You know, because at the end of the day, I, you know, I needed that help too, you know, with my kiddos. And I'm not embarrassed to say that. So, next question, Jude. How do you feel about selling everything? How did you feel about selling everything? Oh! Oh my God, when my daughter first told me to come there, I'm coming to North Carolina, and she was like, you know, you're going to have to sell everything, and I'm like, oh my God, 
everything. It's like my heart just, just like dropped. I'm like, you know, I don't build up all this stuff, and now I got to get rid of it. Oh. Yes, I was sad, and then on the other hand, I wasn't. I was glad to go and <laughs> to get rid of all that stuff. Yeah, I was. I was pretty sad at the yeah. beginning. Yeah, I was. And then my son, he was like, get rid of that. You can't take that. You can't take that. And then she come. You can't take this, mom. You got to leave that. You can't get rid of that. Get rid of that. You know? So, yeah. It was kind of sad. So, so, okay. So now that you're, so now with you being here at the, being here at, in North Carolina and have uh, been unsold all your stuff, how do you feel about that now? I mean, you know, every now and then, I think I still think about it, right. but I also have to remember, you know, I'm in an RV and I got to do what I got to do. Right. So I did what I did. Right. Right. I mean, but it's time and time, you know, I think about it, but right. you know, it's like, you know, right. I can always get it back one day, you right. know. Okay, right. But how would but how do you even feel about material things now though? Because it don't even bother me. It don't even bother me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, again, in the long run, you never know where I might be. You know, maybe right. I can get all this stuff. But hopefully, I don't just stay just in an RV. I would love to stay in an RV because mm -hmm. it just owns me. Right, right, right. I got you. And then you even kind of realize being in the RV, you know, it's like being in the RV, you, you even realize like, wow, I thought I needed this. I thought I needed right. this big kitchen, but right. you realize like, I really don't need that. I, I thought I needed this big bedroom, you know. Right. It was just more stuff. It's just more stuff. <laughs> more things to do, you know. Right. But in an RV, it's like you can do things real quick. Right. You finish. Yeah. 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 And I like it. Yeah. yeah. So what, what's your next question, Juju? What do you buy at RP? Well, you already kind of said yeah. Yeah, huh? I would. Yeah. Are you excited about this journey? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. Is it hard watching your grandkids in the RP? Well, <laughs> is it hard watching your grandkids in the RV? Yes, it is because, like I said, we don't have the space, but um, we manage it, you know what I'm saying? They love <laughs> so, you know, but I enjoy them there <laughs> with me. But, yeah, it's kind of hard, but, you know, we got it. We, we got it together. Right. We got it together. Right, right, right. Yeah. And it, it was so funny, you know, I, when, when I was on the live last night, I had one of the, one of the subscribers say that um, they were actually going to... Um, you know, they were a grandmom too, and they were going to actually get their grandchild, and they was going to move into the RV too. So, is there wow. any advice that you would even give them about that, though? Ooh. <laughs> there was some were going to stay with the grandma. Yeah, yeah. So, so the grandma, the grandma and the grandchild are going to eventually go stay in the RV. So, what what advice would you give anybody else about that? You know. Um. Maybe, maybe more patience. You really got to be patient. You, you really have to be very patient because the little ones, they like to run around, jump, and they like to jump in the chairs and right. everything. So, you know, um, at first it was kind of a little hard. Right. <laughs> but now that I guess we don't got got to know each other real good now. <laughs> so now they don't calm down a whole lot. Right. They know what to do. Right. But it's up to you. Right. It's up to you to to get them to to calm down, right. you know. But um, it I'm not gonna say it's hard, but it's not that bad. Right. It's really not that bad. Like I said, it's up to you how you do it. Okay, guys. So we figured that we would kind of finish everything up in the RV because this is where we reside, right? And that's the theme. Well, let's not say the theme. You know, well, that's just where we basically reside. So. Um, so, Juliana, you want to finish off the questions for us? Yep. Do you have more energy? Yes, I do have more energy. I can do more. I can, when I was in South Carolina, I used not doing nothing. Just sat around the house, smoking a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> but as I came here, my mind is like relaxed. Um, I do more walking. Um, I don't smoke as much cigarettes like I used to. Mm -hmm. um, 
peaceful mind. You won't have to worry about this and that. You know, I mean, I, I just feel good. I feel good about myself. Mm. But now I just got to um, work on losing this weight. <laughs> <laughs> but even with that, though, my, even with the losing the weight, you know, I, I do feel like, you know, I, I see you eat more fruits and stuff now. Yeah, I do. You know, you drink a lot of water. You know, I see you go out, like you said, you know, you do a lot of walking and stuff now. You and Juliana, mm -hmm. you know, um, you and you are just outside more. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yes, you are, am. you're outside and more. And I, I really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, um, and, and she's actually um, tutoring um, Juliana as well, guys. So when I'm not around, I got my mom tutoring Juliana. And, you know, my mom um, used to watch kids in the daycare for how many years now? Uh, 12 years. 12 years. So she is very patient, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get that trait from her. <laughs> but uh, she is very, very patient, um, especially when it comes to kids. So, uh, yeah, my, I, I definitely see you, you know, with a lot more energy, your little more uplifted right, you know because right. i remember when i used to call you you know you used to just feel just down, down you right, know right but i see you moving you're smiling more you know mm -hmm. you know i mean even when i'm seeing her like you know you know like cleaning up around here and stuff like she she's smiling like who who the hell be smiling while they clean it up you know <laughs> you know so you know you that's that's how you just know that a person is just free and and happy and, and comfortable, you know. Relax and relax, mm -hmm. right? And have a clear mind, clear mind of what you want to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, be honest, I I do love it here, mm -hmm. and um, especially the RV, I, I love it, you know. Like I said, this is my first time being in an RV. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it, you know. Everything is so simple, right? But you know, my daughter got to teach me some old stuff, right? You know, and I'm willing to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just when I have mine, I got to do it, right? You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and and, and of course, you know, everybody know that I'm leaving soon. You know, you gotta right. know what to do. Right. Boom, you know, and and she's been practicing that on her, her on her own too. She'll come to me and say, "Hey, diva, I think it's time for the thing to get pulled." So today was your first day, literally going mm -hmm. out there and pulling it yourself, because mm -hmm. normally she'll get Juliana to do it, right? right. But she went out there and she did it herself. So she's really catching on to it um, mm -hmm. real fast. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and uh, you know, and we don't have this question in the um, written down, but people probably even want to know, like, what's a, what's, what's a way that you probably are going to want to try to bring income in? Oh, um, working on the, the, um, the cricket. Mm. I'm trying to learn how to... Um, Use the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to train myself by looking at the YouTube. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, so if I can bring income with that, you know, I'm good. Yeah. 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 And and even Juliana, you know, Juliana has a cricket joy. You know, so she's even she's even teaching herself, you know, how to use the cricket joy. And like my mom said, she's been watching YouTube videos like over and over on trying to learn how to do the sewing machine, how to learn some things on the cricket machine. You know, because she has been pushing me ever since I had mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just been like, no, 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 no. Right, right. You know, I, for some reason, I was just allowing that machine to intimidate me. Like, all right. of the things I've done, for some reason, when it came to that machine, I was allowing it to intimidate me. And, you know, now that I, that my mom is here, you know, she's pushing me because she's like, hey, Diva, what's up? Are we going to do this or not? Right. You know, I mean, I ain't, you know, I ain't come around here just to be sitting around, so... Mm -hmm. Um, that really did push me and motivate me to just like, okay, let me go ahead and buckle down to it, you know. So, anything you want to say, Juliana, about that? No? Okay. Um, so, so, so to wrap it up, everybody, um, any, anything you would like to say, Ma? I mean, I think you covered a lot, but. Yeah, but, um, that's about it. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll come back on the um channel and mm -hmm. let you know what else i have done you know what right. else i like doing here you know mm -hmm. yeah i think that'd be nice to give a little update maybe about six months down the line right right you know um because i forgot when you came here about a month but it was about a, a month, month ago right month. so um it's, and, and as you guys know today is september 3rd okay stop you um today is september 3rd and like, like she said she's been here for about a month now so um, maybe a few months down the line, you know, we'll we'll come back and she can give you just an update on, hey, you know, 
may may this is what I may not like, but you know, I'm starting to realize that I like this a little more, you know, mm -hmm. she can give you a, a different opinion. Um, but other than that, you know, we just want to say thank you for coming. Right. You know, we want to say uh, for not, not and not even thank you for even coming on the, the camera because, you know, I know you was a little nervous about that. Right. Yeah. So we do appreciate it getting your opinion. Um, and giving your advice, you know, we, and we, and I, me personally, I appreciate you coming here to help us out, you know, um, and my mom always been there to help me out guys before I even got married, honestly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we, we truly, truly appreciate you so much and we love you. We love you all too. Yeah, we do. We appreciate it. Love you all. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. You know, you have seen her. Uh, give her opinion about it. Make sure you leave in the comments, you know, say hi, you know. Um, but yeah, leave, leave in the comments your thoughts, you know, what what you like about the RV or, or, or your free lifestyle and, and maybe some of the things that, that you may not like. And, um, and have you ever had somebody come stay with you? You know who never lived this lifestyle before you know we want to know in the comments you know um so we do appreciate you my loves uh thanks so much for watching i really didn't expect this video to be so long but i'm glad that it is you know so you guys can um really uh get into those questions and stuff you know so hopefully we did cover a lot uh if you do have any more questions again leave it in the comments and maybe we can answer those questions the next time okay so much love to you guys Peace. Uh -huh.